Coming up on today's episode of CBTV Weekly, we have a prom update from Stugo, a new segment called Outright Science, and a look at what our online students are doing while the rest of us here on campus. Get ready, CBTV Weekly starts now. TV Weekly for Friday, April 30th. I'm Kayla DeLugos along with Nixon Morton. And to start things off, we have our prom update from Studio Vice President Maya Vargas. So if you're a junior, make sure to tune in so you don't miss out on this great event. Attention CVHS juniors! I am so excited to announce that we will be selling tickets for this year's prom themed CV Boulevard at lunch during both lunches until May 7th. This year's prom will be hold, held at May 8th from 7 to 10. Your ticket purchase will come with a gourmet cookie and 16 ounce drink from Soda Rush. This year's prom will contain games and awesome dancing. This will be a night full of fun and we are so excited for you guys to see what we have planned for you. Feel free to purchase tickets and if you have any questions regarding ticket purchase or you are a remote student looking to purchase tickets, email Mrs. Kennedy. That's all Jags and I'm so excited for you guys to join us. It is crazy to think about that the first prom in Canyonview history almost didn't happen due to COVID. But we are so thankful that the juniors will get to experience this, so make sure to buy your tickets ASAP. Our next episode is a brand new segment with Chief Science Officer November Horn as she tries a new experiment with Mr. Nallen and Mr. Beal. Hello, my name is November. I'm Chief Science Officer at Canyonview, and this is uh, Mr. Beal. And this is Mr. Nallen. And today we're going to be doing an experiment that's targeted more towards younger ages that you can do with your younger siblings to get them interested in STEM. Or even if you're a parent watching, you can do it with your kids at home. Or a kid at heart like Mr. Nallen and I. Yes. We okay. just have fun. No. Or our maturity levels. So this is cornstarch. Pour it in. Um, yeah. Just you just want a lot more cornstarch than water. I tried to do the exact measurements. It wasn't the best, so kind of eyeball it. So. Can I ask a silly question? Of course. Well, what's ultimately what we're looking to do here? Like, what, what's, what's going to happen? Or, or is it a surprise? Um, so it's called oobleck. It's like really for... Um, oobleck? Yeah. It's um, going to be liquid when you move it and everything, but once you try to touch it, it's going to be solid and it'll run mm. through your hands liquidy, but once you press it, it'll be solid. So that's why it's like a non, poop. yeah, non-Newtonian, Newtonian, I can't say the word, fluid, because um, it doesn't follow the law, his law of the solidity. That's not the fun part, so that's okay if we forget Viscosity? it. Viscosity? Yeah, exactly what it. Wow. <laughs> and just a little bit of water and then add as you go in. So put a little bit, not a lot, but you can always fix it and add more. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna have more, more cornstarch than water, right? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. To start off with, probably. To start with. Yes. So it should be like liquid, and then you feed that into hardens. Oh dang! I think I is that. Is it still too liquidy? Wait, stir it? Look, look, oh, I... that's perfect. Mr. Yeah. Beale got it Oh, first. did you hear that? Did you hear that? What? Say it again. Mr. Beale got it first. And what? What's the adjective you use to describe mine specifically? Perfect. Perfect. Mine still look at this. Too now watch. Much. Watch what happens. It looks liquidy, right? And then I do this. And it's like thick, but then it goes back to being liquidy. But look, I can't stir it. It doesn't stir. That is kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah. It's so weird. It like goes right back into. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, thank you, November, for teaching us the importance of cornstarch, water, and uh, food coloring. Yeah. Isn't it 
interesting that we only have less than a month left of school because it seems like we just got back on campus. But we cannot forget about our online Jaguars who have been at home for over a year. Junior Marcos Ramirez gives us an inside look at what it's like for the students who are still at home while juggling school, family, and responsibilities. Hello everyone, this is a day in the life of an online remote student. This is me stretching, getting up in the morning, getting ready for class. Nothing special. Uh, logging into the first class of the day, English. Uh, just have a fit check, you know, what I'm wearing, the usual, you know, nothing special, just comfy. Looking, looking good. Here's me doing so much schoolwork, because um, I'm a good student, you know, gotta do schoolwork. Here's me doing some laundry, you know, doing something responsible for the day, uh, nothing too special. And here's me making my breakfast, making some oatmeal because it's quick and easy. And it's very good. I so talk to my brother. Here's me eating my oatmeal, enjoying my breakfast that I made, uh, and doing some more schoolwork, as you can see. Uh, I didn't record me making this because it was leftovers and I was chicken and rice, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Next, we're at the barbershop getting a haircut, and as you can see, I'm very, very excited. Uh, after our haircut, me, my brother, and my dad went to a shoe store. I got more bands out of the, like, the 50 I have, because uh, why not? Uh, nothing special. It's got plain bands. I like the color, I like the band symbol, and uh, yeah. I also got socks with them because I have no socks. Here's my brother dancing, very excited. It's my socks, here's me being happy. Later on, just checking the shoes that I got. Now I want to go condition in the garage for the first time in 20 years. Decided to box because uh, I was bored, and why not? Later on, I decided to do some deadlifts, heavy deadlifts. Uh, I'm bored. Uh, and yeah, that was it. Uh, that was my day. Uh, thank you for joining me. Seeing the day in my life. I know it wasn't special at all. But yeah, we did it. Uh, you guys have a good day. That's all for today's show. Don't forget to follow us on our CVTV Jags YouTube and Instagram pages. We'll see you next week with a special teacher appreciation episode. See you later, Jags, and let's finish this school year strong.